I don't even know why I'm laughing, y'all, honestly. I swear to God, I don't know why I'm laughing. I just started laughing out of nowhere. I don't know, it's probably because I get excited when I see this camera, I just start laughing out of nowhere. But, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Pop Class. We are back with another video. And today's video, before I get into this video, I have to go pick up my Silverado. I had to transport down here. I was going to drive back down, but then I was like, you know what? To save money on gas and stuff, it probably makes sense to transport it because it was way cheaper transporting. It was super cheap transporting it. Wait, there you guys go. I think our minds are still stuck in the box. If you have, go ahead and purchase your waffle ticket right now because you do not want to miss this. Only $25. You can win some 26 about 14s. You don't want to miss it, y'all. They are brand new. Brand new tires, 35s. They're AC 15s. Answer right now. They are right here. <laughs> Don't you answer y'all, they are brand new, only $25, the holidays coming up, Christmas coming, get them right now, y'all. I currently got 70 people answer right now, we're going to 250 My cash app is dollar sign, X-T-I-O-N-N-E, -N -N -E, the number one, and my Venmo is at X-T-I-O-N-N-E, -N -N -E, number one. So go ahead and get your ticket right now, make sure you send your full name and your phone number when you send a payment. I have three guys that did not do that. Please do so, because if you win, I have to call you when I'm on live, so go ahead and do that right now. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, because I'm about to put you nine open minded guys back in the box. So get your ticket right now, and uh, you won't be back in this box. All right, for the ones that buy your ticket, see you later. Put you back in the box. We'll be doing a video on the biggest squad of trucks today. A female driver owns it, and y'all, y'all have to see this. I thought I saw the world squad of truck in North Carolina, but I think this one is a little bit bigger. This is the Lean Queen. I heard, I don't know, I heard there's a lot of drama on Instagram. My lips are hot right now. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, lick my lips a little bit. But there's a lot of drama on Instagram. I'm not getting into that, y'all. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not my cup of tea. I don't get into that stuff right there. This thing is super, super, super tall. It's an hour away from me. You'll think the world's got a truck being North Carolina or South Carolina, not in Georgia. Then an hour away from me? And I'm not getting a video on it? Nah, I gotta go make that happen today. So I will be bringing y'all that video today. Let me know, should I build a Serato? The guy waiting on me right now, he up there at the Walmart. I gotta go get the truck right now. But before I build it, I have to finish this build first. Got a lot of stuff planned for the truck. Got a lot of stuff to do. Now I just gotta find the time for the patience and the right mechanics to fix this thing right here. I want it way better than what it is. I want to do a lot of stuff to it. I'm gonna show y'all the biggest Tahoe I've ever seen in my life today, y'all. There's no way you can drive this thing. I'm gonna get rollers of it and it's gonna be moving. I'm gonna ride in it. I don't think that was good enough. I need to calm down. Y'all be talking way too fast. Just running my family. I try to slow it down sometimes. Like, am I talking too fast right now? Am I talking too fast right now? Like, am I really talking too fast right now? Because it's so bad, y'all talk so freaking fast. Sometimes I only know what I'm saying when I'm editing the video. I'm like, wait, what did I just say? And I just don't put a part in the video. All right, guys, as you see, the transport is finally here. The silk router sitting right over there. I'm about to hop in. We're going to take it back home. I'm doing a review on this so I can show y'all once again for the new subscribers. I'm going to show y'all everything that's done with it once I get to the house. But yeah, it's sitting right there. Oh, I'm dead serious about to spend a hundred dollars on gas, bro. This is crazy. These gas prices is insane, yo. I'm about to spend a whole hundred dollars on gas, bro. This is crazy. So my dad originally owned the Silverado for many, many, many years, and he just had to send it to shop. I just tell him, do need a bumper up here. I need a rear bumper as well. Got some dents and dings from here and there. They need a new bed liner, of course. There's two boxes on there. It just need a lot of work. So this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to comment down below right now. Should I build this long bed, like a frame off build with this long bed, or just keep how it is and daily drive it? Y'all comment down below right now. I don't see so many long bed builds, so if y'all can DM me right now some pictures, some videos of some long beds that's built, because I want to see. I never saw one before. I don't think long beds look too good lift it squat it or even lower it so i don't know but let me know and definitely don't forget to send me some build ideas i want to see some long beds out there that's built so this is the inside like i showed you on previous videos no rips and see or anything fresh headliner everything look good up in here but man let me know i don't know what to do with this thing y'all should i just daily drive it oh y'all tell me right now this be a truck come from up north where it snows and everything and the weather's real bad this is like a rust free truck like almost rust free it is some spots here and there where it got rust but usually up north trucks these rocker panels right here will be falling apart that's how bad it is but this does not have like rust on the rocker panels at all that's a good sign i see a little rust spot right here but this looks like from damage previous before body work need to be done this is the bumper damage i was talking about in the rear right here needs to be fixed but she needs some work to her y'all 
All right, guys, this is day two to this vlog. I apologize. I was not able to make it go see the World Squad truck yesterday, but I am on my way to go see it right now as we speak. I will be driving old girl. She drives super good. I've been driving it all yesterday. I'm about to make my way over there. It's an hour away. You would never believe this truck is an hour away from me. I don't want to waste y'all time talking too much. So I'm about to head there right now, and I'll put the camera up on the way there. Wait, I almost forgot, guys. I am going to bring the measuring tape just in case so I see how big it is. We can finally see who got the World Squad truck. I mean, it's not competition just to see who got the biggest, I guess. I'm not the competition type at all, but I guess everybody's waiting to see who is the biggest. So, I know I got my measuring tape. Hopefully, let me measure it, and then they can measure theirs, and we'll see who the biggest. So, let's see. All right, guys. Just made it over here to the shop. I got Kenny Raphael Dilly here. We about to look at this Tahoe. Y'all, this thing is so big. Well, I have seen something this big. I'm not going to lie. I've seen a couple this big, but... I don't know, y'all. Once to get on the ground, because on jack stands right now, but once to get on the ground, and he's 37. So he got some new wheels coming on the way right now to be here probably in like 20 minutes now. This thing's gonna be huge. I'm gonna show y'all what they got going on inside the shop right now. So I see what's going on, and uh, I'll let y'all see from there. So this is the guy right here, Dylan, who built this Tahoe right here from the ground up, right? Like sure. from the ground up. So y'all see right now, I got an FTS on there, powder coated purple. Y'all see that right there? Got the little headlights. Y'all see them headlights right there? Them things are nice, y'all. You say you can order these off Amazon, right? Yep. Oh, those off Amazon things are good. 26s, golly, how big is it? Maybe like it's 22s. Yep. Golly, he's about to go even bigger. So with them tires, I'm telling you, it's going to look super tall. Putting a rear lift on right now. So y'all going to put the whole rear lift on or just parts of it? Just parts of it. Just parts of it. So they're going to put parts of rear lift on. As you can see, if y'all haven't gotten me for wheel lights yet, my wheel lights are right here. They're going to go on this Tahoe and this thing will be super bright. Also, if you haven't already, go ahead and go purchase your decals right now. And my girlfriend Instagram is at Glossy Decals. Got the best price, best quality work. And we're about to put her stickers actually on this Tahoe right now. So I'm actually lift the colorway of it. It looks so good. So we're about to go and slap these things on there. This man had to fabricate his own jack to lift this thing. Y'all see that? Y'all, they really fabricating this stuff to jack this thing up. Look at this. That is crazy. Bro, how did y'all even make this? What y'all had to weld this, right? Yeah, we had to weld it. That's what I do for a living. Oh, that's what you do? You weld? Yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. And then if it's, uh, it's illusion purple, it's stage two. It's got the clear flake with it. Uh, and then the silver that you see, that's the stage two also. It's got clear and flake. And that silver... With the flake and everything, it matches the wrap. Oh, that flake and yeah, it. yeah. And there they are. Those are the rims that would be going on this Tahoe right there. About to go ahead and mount these things up. This man's about to put wides on it. How you think it's going to look? It's gonna look good? Yeah, it's good. I ain't gonna lie. I was probably more excited to see the talk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you know cool. So, look, the question is will we be able to see how tall it is? Oh, yeah. With the measuring tape? Go for it. Go for it? But well, we gotta wait to put it on the ground, though. Okay. He said he can't go more inches, so oh, it's I not even it. cranked up right now. It's The keys are halfway up, and I can go, I'll be able to go another four and a half inches. Oh, man. This is crazy, bro. So what he doing is he looking around it right now. He going he want him to take a wild guess of how much he put into this tile. So we're gonna walk around and then he's just gonna take a wild guess of how much he think he put into it. He got done walking through. Let's tell him what you think he put into it. All right, so he came back with his S one. How much you think? Twenty, mid twenties. Is this including the price of the Tahoe or? This is the price of the Tahoe and everything I've done to it. I'll say 36. No, not that much. <laughs> not that much? Not that much. Somewhere around 25, 30. Still stuck in y'all driving three and a half hours to come out here. That's crazy. He just told me he came just see Tahoe. That's crazy. <laughs> Trying, trying to go for a ride in this thing. This is about to be insane. I can't believe it. Jeez. 
<laughs> That's the stance right there, huh? Yep. So which thing's gonna be on the tire? Oh yeah. What's your thing? It's gonna be on the tire? I don't know. I'm thinking it will. You think it's gonna be on the tire? See. All right, we gotta put it on the tire. <laughs> we gotta put it on the tire. <laughs> Whatever popping clutches wants. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Take them bad boys out. <laughs> On the tire. Just to get this thing up there, they had to put these blocks right here. It's either that or make some special jack stands. It's gonna sit on tire. You say things gonna sit on tire? Yeah. You got to jack off the front. Then I'll take the jacks off the back. This is the moment of truth right here. I was this off those stands. It shouldn't be much. Yep. Oh. Oh. <laughs> God damn, what y'all think? Yeah, thanks, big. I'm pretty sure y'all can see the difference right here. This is a seven and nine with a leveling kit, and this thing is huge y'all this thing is big man female driven y'all this is crazy all right guys we finally got this thing outside the garage and i must say this thing is humongous it is huge i gotta show y'all just look at this look how big this thing is y'all oh my god if you were to put the other lift on there it'd be on the tire like dragon ass so what'd you say out. big shout out to glossy wraps it's it's a job right here he said glossy wraps glossy decals, <laughs> glossy decals <my> <laughs> So look, let me show y'all, let me show y'all details. So this is wrap right here, y'all see the flakes in it, right? And let's go show y'all the lift kit. The same exact flakes y'all just seen on the wrap, you see it right here on the powder coat. This is the lift, this thing look good. Y'all gotta pay attention to the details now. And that too. And look, look at look at the details in this suit. Jeez. All right, y'all, somebody have Dylan go ahead and explain to y'all what he got going on with it. Of course, he's not gonna tell you exactly his lift setup. He's not gonna tell you everything I done to it. He give y'all a little juice, like a little bit of squidge of what he got done to it. So what you got done to it? We got a we got an FTS 12 inch. Uh huh. We got a powder coated illusion purple with a stage two clear mm -hmm. flake. We got that silver with the flake to match the wrap. It's probably sitting around 18 inches in the front. Yeah. And in the back, we're probably about six inches in the back. And the keys might be cranked up. Keys are halfway. Yeah, keys, keys are halfway, y'all. So that's crazy. So he did a uh, cat out front end swap. He got these headlights right here, as you can see right now. They are all on. That's, all that's Amazon, too. All, the, Amazon all of it. Amazon grill, Amazon clear headlights, 14,000 lumen LED headlights, Amazon. He got a uh, color changing bow tie about to go right there. He got some fog lights coming as well. He's going to put some fog lights inside there. Just got the 20s by 14s. No, 24 by 14s today. 24 by 14s. Yep, on 37s. Yep. Just imagine once you get the 26s. It's yep. going to look even bigger. The 37s ain't going to last long. We're going a little bigger. <laughs> exactly. We're going to go bigger. I think it look good, bro. I appreciate it. I think we need to take it on the test drive. I'll go. You think so? Yeah, let's go. I think we need to go take this thing on the test drive. So we're going to test drive and see how it is. About to ride in this thing and find out how can I get inside here? Cause I'm trying to go, bro. How am I supposed to get inside here? I'm bigger than you, so we gotta figure it out. <laughs> I don't know how to get inside here. God, Lee, hold up. So let me let me let me think this out. Hold up, mate. Let me write this out. Wait, so I'm gonna. I guess I can. Huh? How can I do this? I think I know what I can do. I think I can pull this right here to get inside here. Let me see. Ah, uh, Lee. <laughs> Feel like an old man just now. We're gonna take it on the highway. Oh, we're gonna take it on the highway. Say. Just imagine when he didn't have no lift on the rear, bro. That was wild. I know you couldn't see nothing at all. Not a thing. Bro, oh, we're literally pointing to the ground in the rear, y'all. You can't see nothing. What you think? Safety approval? Yeah. Safety approval? Yeah. All right. Bro, I can't see nothing, bro. There's nothing I can see in front of me. How fast we're going? About 60 to 70. About 67. Bro, he's sticking the middle finger out. 
Bro, he bowed. <laughs> he really just stuck the middle finger out of us, bro. What in the world? Y'all know him? No, he was just. <laughs> he down there by the wreck his truck. You ain't see that? He was like this the entire time by the wreck his truck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that was funny, bro. <laughs> so let me see the sauce. Nothing, right? All right, I see it. Yeah, oh, look, look, look guys, tell me, should I, should I do this or is this like kind of old? Nobody do this no more. I just want to do a newer screen though, but I want to do something like this in my Denali. So look, you said the sauce is where is that? Go get in the pastry soup. I'll show you. All right, all right. Let's see what this thing is talking about. Let's see. He said it's a mean sound system in here. We are gonna see. I don't know where the speakers at though. Dude, have you verified? There's no sound system here. No subs, right? Yeah, I ain't see not, not one sub. sub. Not no one. Sub. Not one. Couldn't find it. I don't know how you hiding it somewhere because this is a pickup truck, but we're we'll gonna see. All right, bass is turned down. Is turned down yeah, huh? all right. Now, I'm gonna hit play. We're gonna turn it on. Here. Now, the question is where are the subs? It's just door speakers. Huh? Door speakers? It's door speakers. Are you serious? I swear to God. You gotta play it out how you gotta do it. <laughs> Take one more hit. <laughs> that went too bad. <laughs> Golly! Our piece of the cookout. What the hell? <laughs> we gonna get into the birds. Our piece of cookout. It kinda got smushed. Wanna buy some more cookout? I'll buy yeah, some more cook up. I'm sure. sorry. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Alright, so look. This road right here is what he wants us to get a roll on. As you can see, it's not no four lane where it's like two lanes right here, two lanes right here. He wants us to ride on the opposite of the road while he go down and we get the roller. But he's saying if a car come, just slow down and get behind him. What you think about that? How does that sound? We'll try it out. You want to try it? What yeah. you think? That's fine with me. <laughs> All right. He just, hey, he just hey, rolling with hey, it. Hey, your truck. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Hey, full cars for a reason, right? <laughs> All right, we're about to get these rollers, man. I'm about to be on the back. Freezing car, I did not bring a jacket, but we're going to hop on the back. We about to get this roller, y'all. I don't think this is safe to approve. This already there who coming already. We're trying to shoot the roller. I don't think this is safe, y'all. What'd you say? I hope you got good insurance. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Bro, this is wild. Car number two. Hey, I thought you said this road not busy. They eating the french fries. Told you. Told you. Let's see if they eat the fry. What? Oh my god. Y'all some wimps. They some chickens. Come here, little chicken. Y'all some wimpy chickens. Go ahead and eat that food I gave you. Wimpy chicken. So, what you think? It's pretty damn big. It's pretty big. Pretty big. I think we did everything else. But except see how tall it is. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. You got measuring tape? Yeah. Alright, let's see. This is the moment of truth where everybody waiting for to see how big it is in the front. So we're about to find out and we'll go from there. So before we actually get the measurements, I'm gonna have everybody take a guess from the ground to the hood of how tall it is. From the ground to the hood, what do you think the measurements would be? I don't know, it thing's tall. What you think? From the ground to the hood. The bottom all the way to like okay, yeah. right here. Yeah, somewhere right there. Oh, let me stand by. <laughs> Whoa! We might got a little accurate height. What would be your guess? 6'4". Six, 6'5". Six, about like 6'4". Six, 6'2". Six, so you say 6'4"? I say my guess would be 6'4 and a half. I'll be the, I'll be the odd one. I'll go to half. Is it flat? Flat. Flat. Okay, all right. flat. All right. All right. You ready? Almost six foot. Six foot right there, y'all see it. Six foot from the ground to the top. Six foot, this thing is huge, bro. It's big. Let's do a measurement from the ground to the bottom of the bumper. You no, know, it's crazy. What? If we would have simply, uh, if I would have left it on the tire, it would have been even. Oh yeah, it would have been way bigger. Looking at three foot three. 
Three foot three? Yep. That's it. I kind of wish I would have got it when he had the other lift on the rear because it would have been way bigger. I didn't get a video on time. It was kind of my fault. I was supposed to be out here, remember? Mm -hmm. I was supposed to be out here. I didn't get a video. And I don't know, maybe next time. Maybe next time we'll get it when it's back on the tire. But from here, it's going up even more, right? Oh, yeah. Even more high in the rear so it'll be leveled out. And what'd you say, 40s? 40s. 40s. Be safe, man. Real. Nice to meet you, man. Hey, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, help yeah. the channel, alright? Y'all have a good day. Yes, sir. I appreciate that, bro. Y'all boys, be safe and roll back. Yes, alright, man. Nice to meet y'all. Nice be safe. Alright. Hey, bro, I'll see you on the next video. Appreciate it. Be safe, man. Thank y'all for letting yeah. me film it. Alright, guys. This is the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do y'all the best. Follow me on Instagram at PopCuts. Make sure you follow this Instagram right here down below for that Tahoe. If you want to see more of that build, it is on our Instagram. I'm pretty sure it's on our TikTok as well. A couple weeks from now, we'll get another video of that Tahoe. Powder coat, level, everything. Whole nine yards. I think it was a good video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do y'all the best. Follow me on Instagram as well, man. That was guy just did that burnout. Y'all follow me on Instagram as well. And uh, I'll see y'all next video.